Okay, so let's try and get this EE e Smart Hub open. What I've been doing, I've been looking on the top edge of the, of the hub. Excuse my noisy chair. We're looking on the top edge here, we're looking along that with a torch, looking through the gaps in the grill to see where the tabs are. And I can see them. You can see the back end of the plastic tabs where they're sort of protruding from the front fascia of the device into the rear casing. You can see them sort of, the, the yeah, you can basically see them. I'm not sure if you can see those on there, but you probably can't. Actually, you may be able to. There's one round right about there. Anyway, long story short, out comes the pry tool and a credit card. And let's try and get this thing open. This is the same device as the e, the BT Smart Hub. I'm hoping I won't have as much of a, of a struggle as the other guy on YouTube had. Let's zoom out a bit, shall we? It's a bit too far zoomed in here. So, I've got a bit of practice with these things. I've done a few routers before. Let's see if we can get into it. Yeah, looking good. First tab seems to be disengaged. Yeah, there we go. Top edge is open. Turn my torch on my phone off. off. This video has only got uh, 10 minutes runtime per video file, so I have to stop after 10 minutes. So if I disappear and come back, you'll know why. So get that in there. This is a credit. <coughs> me, this is a credit card where I've tapered the edge with a razor blade, so it's very thin at the edge. That helps get in the cracks, you see. There we go. Let's just hop off. The other guy seemed to be using a putty knife or some sort of uh, metal pry tool. Don't do that. You'll hurt your plastics. You'll mar the plastic if you do that. It's not a good idea. Can you see me still? Yeah, you can, good. Yeah, don't ever use a metal tool on plastic body, for goodness sake. That's asking for trouble. That's what you don't do in the business. There's five on the top, apparently, and five on the bottom. And two each side, I think. It might be time for the pry tool, actually. It is metal. I'm going to go in very gentle with a blunt end at a shallow angle so as not to. Uh... Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to contradict to myself, aren't I? I'll use this. It's like a plastic shim, in effect. So let's try and get the number five on the top undone first. That's holding the process up. By the looks of things. I don't want to be sweating at this for hours, that's for sure. I don't know why they insist on clipping them shut so securely. What's wrong with four screws? I mean, seriously. So, this here is a pick type thing. And I can put that in the large gap there to keep the gap open. Can you see that? Yep, just about. And then carry on. Yeah, it's not that easy to get the top off, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I'm nothing if not determined. Ah, well. So you open the left side up, it closes back up again because the, the tension from the top half not being fully released is still pulling on it. Um, This might end up being a video where I come back and show you it when it's open because at the moment it's a bit of a struggle. I'll come back in a while and I'll get it open a bit more. See ya.